Hi guys, how are you? Uh, today I have a little bit different kind of approach and the, in this video I'm going to share something I haven't shared before. Uh, something new a little bit uh, is about uh, sometimes when you are going through hard time, what things can you, I don't know, cheer you up or what things can you do to keep yourself going uh, when you're in hard time or difficult situations. Uh, and especially uh, in order to succeed, basically, I can simply say that way. Or oh, what, whatever you do, how are you going to do anything which sometimes doesn't make sense at that time, but you can use down the road as an opportunity. That's what I want to share today. For those who didn't know, uh, I had the opportunity to save in one among the finest military I saved in the United States Navy. So while I was in the boot camp, and that was August 2012. Uh, I went to the boot camp on August 1st. So while I was in the boot camp, one of the things, obviously, there is no electronic. So in case you, that is obvious in any military, you cannot be boom, 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 playing with the electronic. So obviously, it's just full military drill and everything. You have to follow all the instructions. And there is no electronic. And remember, in this current life, without electronic, sometimes you get frustrated. How can we survive without electronics? So, how did we do? So, on every Sunday, uh, it is more about relaxing time, I can simply say. In the morning, apart from breakfast and a little bit of, uh, little bit of things, there is a time if you can go to church. Also, there is a time uh, of leisure time. That means you can rest, whatever. You can just brush your boots, do a little bit of uh, folding your stuff, whatever. But there is a point you can have opportunity to do letter writing. And trust me, uh, one among the important things and one among the happiest moments for anybody in the military, in the boot camp, or if you are, you are in deployment, is letter writing. When you receive a letter from your loved ones, those were part of the great moments. And the uh, uh, when the petty officers, the drill sergeant, they come to announce it, so and so, this is your letter. You are so much excited because that is one of the moment to get uh, get some information from outside, like in the real world, because you are there, you cannot watch TV, you cannot get any news, anything going on. So until someone writes to you, oh, by the way, today maybe in uh, NBA, Lakers versus Creepers, who won, things of that nature, you do not know what's going on. So you are in the little bit of the world. So that is something uh, we really wanted to hear or to get these letters. So it depends on what is your life before you join the military, for instance. But for me, because at the time I'm joining, I was already a grown-up person. I was 30 years old, and I had a wife, and I have a kid already. So I have to see what things are going on their side and get some little bit of motivation on doing things, whatever, things of that nature. So for me, I took the moment of writing letters as one among among the most serious uh, days and I enjoyed it more because it was the time for me to do a self-reflection about my personal life. What can I sacrifice in my life for the family, for my country, and for everything? So that was a little bit uh, the time. And if I fast forward, down the road we did the deployment. So while I was in the deployment, I was in the Navy, we were in the ship. Okay, you have your phone, but technically there is no network in the middle of the ocean. You are between Japan and Australia, or Japan and uh, Guam, or another country. So there is no way you can have electronic and whatever. You have internet in the ship, but it's one among the slowest internet you ever imagine to experience. And you are so many people into using the same internet. So sometimes it's difficult. So again, even in the ship we were deployed, when you receive a package, letters, you receive a package, we call care package, or whatever, someone is sending some gift, whatever, in the middle of the ocean, you get so much excited. So I also, if I fast forward, also use that opportunity to write more letters, even if I can email to my wife, but I can also get some letters. So this, I want to show you, these are some of the letters. I say some because I've written more than 300 letters so far. These are some of the letters I've been writing uh, to my wife, my kids, uh, all these letters like, yeah, so these letters. So down the road, when you have all these letters, I had to make as opportunity 
uh, you have to address okay what is going on today what do you feel what what does that mean doing the swimming why you fail all these kind of like things so addressing to my key i mean to i mean at that time i was just having one child benedict it was something like just like talking to someone and have some connection it helped a lot so this was how late down the road it improved my writing skills because if you ask me how did i manage to start becoming a writer it's very easy i wrote the first letter on october uh, it was on february 10th 2012 when my son benedict turned one year old i had to give a special gift to my child and he's my first I mean, my first son a boy whatever you're excited as a father but whatever i was thinking to give my son it didn't make sense like what everything if i buy shoes i buy big thing he will never remember he's just one year old so one of the things is just write a letter to him when he knows how to read i'll give that letter so i wrote that letter i took so i mean it took me a long time to write a letter and then i will write i said to write a letter for my wife write a letter for a, a, a special occasion so when i joined the military when i was in the boot camp i started writing a lot of letters so even if i wrote all these letters i was i'm um, showing you you see uh, sorry so you can see these are just like uh, the letters like when i was in boot camp like yeah so those were special envelopes for that so while i was writing all these letters later i decided to take these letters to type them and make it into a book so this was the book came from these letters so you see anything i do i turn it into opportunity so no matter in what situation you are in so these letters are very important part of my life i keep these letters and i will give to my kids when they grow up but it is eight years old it's going to be nine but these letters down the road in 15 years maybe my child will become u.s president maybe will be a governor maybe will be a better scientist i don't know who is going to what is going to become but these letters will be part of his life so these letters tend to become a loving a loving father in this book and this is my son benedict then some of those letters but i added more they made the book claire francisca the happiest uh, the happiest girl on earth and then in these letters they are not here but i wrote also more letters on this book uh letters to my unborn daughter uh, faustina uh, faustina marie and then these are some of the letters i wrote to myself because even when i was in boot camp sometimes in one hard time you have to write letters to yourself to address yourself what does that mean to you being the military are you going to fail the the test so letter writing was one of the thing which helped me a lot going on through the hard time on the boot camp this letter writing these letters helped me a lot while i was in the while i was in the boot i was in, i was in deployment at the time i was deployed there i didn't have much of the internet again so you're traveling for seven eight months away from your family and you don't have this connection so for those who are planning to join the military for instance on that part uh like joining the boot camp whether you're in marine whether you are in u.s uh, army whether you are in uh, coast guard whatever you branch you are these are opportunities where you can take this opportunity to write these letters and then they can have a better meaning down the road but not only because this is for the military uh, military personnel no even in your personal life start writing a letter to your wife right? a wife start writing letters to your husband because it doesn't mean you have to buy cards all the time my, my, in my personal thinking is when you are going to buy a card the card you are going to read or to take that card to write to someone if uh, is the same card for instance the, the company is paying me to write a le to write to, to compose a message for the card so when i'm composing the message a card for for a, for a wife i'm not to think about your wife i'm thinking of my wife so i'm writing a, a, a card to my message to my wife and then i'm taking out to marie and i take out from illness your loving husband and then i'm selling to a company so technically those words are not for your wife are for someone else's wife so why can't you start writing words coming from yourself and share to your wife share to your kids it's your birthday of your child why do you want to say oh my dearest son i want to i love you you have your own words release the heart let the heart speak the true love from yourself forget about the rule of the language forget about the grammar forget about the perfection just think about how much you love your son how much you love your daughter how much you, uh, that child means to you what is the world means to you having a child can you survive without your your your, your wife or your husband 
and those kids? What makes you wake up every single day and go to work? What makes you get inspired every single day? What is your 50 years plan? Does your 50 years plan revolve around your family, thinking about them, about when you go to retire, how you are going to see your great grandchildren, whatever, all those things, write to them. You never know, you might, I might die today, but if I die today, these letters, they'll have so much meaning to my kids. They will understand how much I love them, how much, no matter what crazy things I've been doing in this world, but this is the truth about coming from my heart. Beyond those cards, which I can buy from, from the Walmart, I can buy from Target, I can buy from any online, Amazon, whatever, but those were not my words. What are your words? And then these words, I turn to be these books. You see, all these books are just these letters. So, in the end, no matter what situation you are in, take a deep reflection and turn anything to your opportunity. I'm not planning to talk much about this one, but also these books. I got scholarships. I wrote my experience as a scholarship. This is a Swahili book about scholarships. This is the English book, but there are two different books, but they are both in books about scholarships. Two memoirs of the scholarship guy. And with Aminu Gaibuni, scholarship overseas, is Swahili book, this English book. You can do anything, anything you go through, whether it's a good, whether it's bad, whether it's a failure, whether it's a success, turn it into opportunity. Don't focus about money, how much money are you going to make in the end. This is what I'm, for me, I, I do. I, and anything I'm going to do, I'm writing. For instance, I'm talking about these YouTube videos. I'm, I, I'm planning to write a book about YouTube. I'm explaining book people about how to publish their books, how to sell their books online. I've already created a book title, book cover, just write that damn book before you die, encouraging people to write their books. So anything I'm talking to you here, I'm putting to the book. I don't care whether someone is buying, someone doesn't buy. What I want to do is before I die, I want to have 100 books. That's my dream. So I don't care how many copies I will sell. What I care is before I die, before I die, I need to have 100 books. So each year I'm writing at least three books. That's the plan I'm planning to do. I'm leaving something behind for my kids and the generation to come. So whether no one is buying the book, I know I'll buy my own copy like this one. My kids will buy my own copy. My grand children will buy my, my copies. That's all what, what matters to me. But if you want to buy the book, good. But that is not my first, uh, my, 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 first my, my first reason of writing this book. I'm turning anything I do, anything I do, I put it as a book. I turn it into opportunity. I know I'm not a very good writer, but the more I'm writing, the more I perfect my skills. So, start today. On the birthday of your child, don't go and buy a card. Take as a challenge. Write a message. Take a pen and write something. And don't start thinking too much. Just explain how much you love your child. How much you love your spouse. What does that mean? The oath you took. Till death do apart. Whatever. What does that mean to you 10 years later? What does that mean? Your child is in school. What are you preparing your child into these world challenges? Just write to him. Address him. Those are the things I want to share with you. It means a lot on me. And I use so many years to a little bit perfect and understand this one. I'm not perfect, but I'm, I know for sure the, the more I do, the more things are working properly on my side. But I want to share what is good on me, I've been doing, and how this one, it can be also something good for you. And he, let me give you another example. There is another book here. Another person uh, I shared, uh, Victoria David, I would like to share. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, for instance, another friend of mine, Victoria David, has two books, uh, a Swahili one and English one. Uh, Damiangu Dailan, it is, uh, she has also the book of English. The same thing, she has been writing letters to, to, to her son. So you don't need it to complicate your life. After writing for me, she asked me some advice. I gave the advice on how to do. She started writing letters to, to her son, and that's the book. She has English and she has a uh, Swahili one. They are both in Amazon. So that's what you can do. Just start to do something for yourself, for your child, for your spouse down the road. Even if you don't sell a book, you have something you, le you are going to leave on this planet Earth to your family. So thank you, thank you so much. Remember to subscribe here.
remember to go to these also suggested videos here you can see all of them click and just keep reading them write your book not only write your book do business do anything you want to do but make sure that you find a way to document it so that you can help the next generation to be able to succeed and remember to share this video to others so thank you thank you so much i really appreciate your support okay goodbye and all the best in your anything you do to make sure that you are going to succeed bye bye